Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial we are going to see, how to create, fire logo animation in After Effects, so let's see the preview. Here I have already imported my logo to create fire logo animation, so now let's start creating our logo animation. First, create a new composition. Let's name it as logo animation. The time duration for this logo animation will be 7 seconds, so set the time duration to 7 seconds. Now let's add our logo to the timeline. You can increase or decrease your logo scale value depending on your logo. Now let's pre-compose our logo. Name it as logo. Now we will auto trace our logo, you can do it manually by using the pen tool. Or go to layer. And select auto trace. Now here we will apply layer mask to a new layer, so make sure to select apply to new layer. Now you can see, a new layer is created with mask of our logo. Now we don't need the logo composition, so let's hide our logo composition. Now let's rename our auto trace layer. I will name it as Saber1. Now we will create two more duplicates of auto trace layer, which will be our Saba 2 and Saba 3. Now press Ctrl plus D to create it. Now let's hide Saba 2 and 3 for some time. Now select Saba 1. Now go to effects, in video copilot, select Saba. Now let's change the preset to, fire. Now in customize core, change core type to layer mask. Now make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for start offset. Now change start offset value to 100%. Now go at 2 seconds. Change start offset value to 0%. Now press U to view created keyframes, now for end keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now change end size value to 0%. Now come back to 1 second. Now create a keyframe for end offset. Now go at 3 seconds. Change end offset value to 0%. Now press U to view created keyframes. Now for end keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now in render setting, change composition setting to transparent. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Starting part of our logo animation is complete. Now let's create our end part. Now select Saba 2 layer. Unhide the layer. Now go to effects, in video copilot, select Saba. Now let's change the preset to, fire. Let's change glow intensity to 11%. Now in customize core. Change core type to layer mask. Now go at 4 seconds. Now create a keyframe for start offset. Now change start offset value to 100%. Now go at 6 seconds. Change start offset value to 0%. Now press U to view created keyframes, now for end keyframe. 
change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's change end size value to 0%. Now come back to 4 seconds. Create a keyframe for end offset. Now go at end of the timer line. Change end offset value to 0%. Now press U to view created keyframes, now for end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now come back to 6 seconds. Create a keyframe for core size. Now go at end of the timer line. Now change core size to 0. Now in render setting, change composition setting to transparent. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create our middle part. Now select Sabre 3 layer. Unhide the layer. Now go to Effects, in Video Copilot, select Sabre. Now let's change the preset to, Simple Orange. In Customize Core. Change Core Type to Layer Mask. Now let's change glow intensity to 15%. Now go at 5 frames. Now create a keyframe for start offset. Now change start offset value to 100. Now go at 4 seconds. Now change start offset value to 0. Now press U to view created keyframes, now for end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now change end size value to 150%. Now come back at 5 frames. Now create a keyframe for core size. Now go at 2 seconds and 15 frames. Now change course size value to 1.5. Now go at 4 seconds and 10 frames. Change course size to 3. Now go at 6 seconds and 10 frames. Change course size to 0. Now press U to view created keyframes, now for end keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now come back at 3 seconds. Now let's create a keyframe for mask evolution. Now go at end of the timer line. Change mask evolution value to minus 1 rotation. Now press U to view created keyframes, now for start keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now in render setting, change composition setting to transparent. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. If you want you can reduce the core size. Now select all layers. Pre-compose them. Let's name it as Sabo logo. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as background. 
Now place it below the Sabah logo composition. Now in effects and preset search for AMP. Add it to the solid background layer. Now let's change the start and end color for AMP. Now select the SAB logo. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Lower logo composition will be our shadow. Now let's change both logo composition to 3D. Now press R to bring up the rotation. Now here we need to change the orientation for X axis to near about 110 degrees. Now press P to bring up the position. Now change position value for the Y axis, as shown, position it in such a way that it is below the logo. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for Gaussian blur, add it to Saba logo composition. Now adjust the blurriness value to near about 57. Now in effects and preset, search for CC radial fast blur. Add it to Saba logo composition. Now adjust the amount value to near about 92. Now press T to bring up the opacity. Let's change opacity value to 30%. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Now let's parent the camera to null object, change the null object to 3D. Now come back to start of the timeline. Press P to bring up the position. Create a keyframe for position. Now go at end of the timeline. Now change position value for Z axis to near about 500. Here our logo animation is complete. If you want to change the color for your logo animation, then, create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for tritone. Add it to adjustment layer. Now change the midtones color. Here you can set any color you want. Now let's see the preview without tritone effect. Perfect. Now let's see the preview with tritone effect. Perfect. Here our fire logo animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.